Okay, so here's what we need to do. By the way, hello, Rebel, and welcome back to my life. I haven't talked about politics on the channel in a little bit, and it always goes super great when I do, so here we go. I don't know if you heard, but America had an election about 10 days ago. Yeah, it was only 10 days ago, Jesus. But despite the fears of a lot of people, myself very much included, the election went pretty great. Great, that is, if you happen to be of the more democratic or liberal persuasion, because the Democratic Party took back a lot of seats in Congress, effectively earning themselves control of the House of Representatives. For non-American viewers, the House of Representatives is one half of Congress, which is the branch of our government that makes the laws. And in the two years since the orange racist rapist was elected, Republicans have had control of basically all of the branches of government. So while this is like a far cry from a sweeping victory that will hereafter make everything better, it's, it's good. At least we've got something. This is somewhat reminiscent of what happened in the midterms during President Barack Obama's first term in office. When he got elected, he too was part of the party that had control over most of the branches of the government. But two years later, there was a huge upswell from the other side of the aisle, which took back control of much of the government, preventing him from achieving a lot of the things that he wanted to do for, you know, the rest of his time in office. And now we have had our own upswell. The difference being that, of course, the upswell during Obama's time was mostly born out of racism, and the upswell during this time is based, I hope, on basic human decency. So here's what we gotta do now, according to my, admittedly not an expert on political science, opinion. If you're not an American, or maybe even potentially if you are, you might not have heard of or know exactly what the Tea Party is. The Tea Party was a movement that started as a subset of the Republican or conservative political side of America that basically was like a coagulation of all of the most extreme positions that one could take on any particular issue in what I would call the wrong direction. And what the Tea Party did, that they did really, really well, was they showed up. They always showed up. They were very reliable. They always voted. And they always, always, always voted on the candidate who could win, who was most closely aligned with their political ideals. In other words, they pushed Tea Party candidates a lot, politicians who were way, way extreme on the right-wing side of issues. But if they could not get the Tea Party candidate, they still always, always, always voted for the Republican candidate. They were willing to accept the lesser of two evils in a way that Democratic voters have consistently proven they are not. Was this a good thing? Well, obviously not. If you are of my particular philosophical, political, and ethical persuasion, they did awful things and continue to do them. What I'm trying to point out is is that it was exceptionally effective at achieving their aims. Because even if they voted in a Republican who didn't necessarily agree with them that a woman has no right to choose what happens to her own body, or that the social net should support those who have been unable to support themselves through no real fault of their own, they elected members of their own party, which meant that they had more control in the government, not just owning the branches, but the way the branches actually work. Because having a majority in Congress doesn't just mean that you are more likely to win the vote of any issue or any bill that comes forward to be voted on in Congress. It means you get to control certain committees, which are very, very powerful, and appoint certain positions, and basically just influence a lot of the actual workings of government. And so the Tea Party elected Republicans no matter what, because even if they elected Republicans that didn't agree with them 100%, the Republicans that did agree with them 100% were now suddenly in control of the government in a way they could never have imagined. And God, I feel so stupid for hoping that we could possibly hold it together to this degree. But that is really what we have to do now. We have to keep things blue and we have to make them more blue. And unfortunately, that is going to mean that we are going to have to vote for some people who we do not agree with and who we maybe even disagree with rather strongly. And our message to the people who we put in office who we disagree with rather strongly has to be the same message that the Tea Party gave to their candidates and to other Republican candidates that they elected. And that message is, you are the best we've got, and as soon as we have somebody who more closely aligns with ideals, they are going to be sitting in your seat instead of you. Some people will say, well, what is the point of electing a Democrat if they don't believe in a woman's right to choose and don't think that taxes should be increased on the 1%? The point is that the other Democrats Democrats who do feel that way and who do agree with you are now empowered to actually make those things happen simply because the other douchebag who we put in that seat has a D on his chest. This sucks. It sucks. It shouldn't work this way. But it does. And if we want to have any real, actual, meaningful hope of making things better and repairing the damage that has already been done in the last two decades disguising themselves as years, 
We really need to do this. The Republican Party loves to say that they are a big tent who cover a lot of different ideas and different issues, and yet they all manage to work together. They have no concept of what a big tent is. Look at the Democratic Party. Look at the demographics and the ideas and the ideals that it represents. But if a small group of, let's just call them what they are, white supremacists, can work together so effectively to enact so much harm and damage, I really, I, I, I have to believe naive as it might sound, that the rest of us can work together even more effectively to actually do some good. Welcome to the Democratic Tea Party Rebel, that's all I've got for you today. I promise I won't talk about this stuff all the time, it's just the only thing I've been able to think about for the last 10 weeks disguised as days. Check out the links to my other stuff in the description, check out my Patreon if you feel like being a super awesome and incredibly attractive individual today. I will see you next Friday. Bye!